That's the moon up there. Right in the center of your screen. And this is the inside of my van. I uh, woke up a little bit later today. I figured there's no reason to get there so super early when uh, it's gonna be dark out until like 6.30. So it's um, it's 5.15. The extra 30 minutes of sleep really helped. All right, well, uh, I guess uh, it's time to get a move on and get up to the market. It's flea market day. Van is uh, packed. Sort of packed. There's a lot of stuff back there, but um, that's the pile, and uh, this is my van, so off to the flea market we go. See how all this turns out. Um, but I'm not going over there. I kind of showed up a little bit later. I wonder if my spot's going to be taken, but we'll find out. You know, I see someone turning around right now, so it's probably not good. Oh, no, oh, we're going this way. This guy probably can wait. Let's go. Two dollars for all of them. You never know. Alright, thank you. What's that? One can. I didn't see many tools there. Yeah. I had been under the impression that everyone would want my ladder. I haven't got out yet, but no one's really even looked at it. I don't know how well that's going to sell, but if it doesn't sell, I'll just use the soles on and cut it in half. I found it on Bolt Pickup Week, and I think it was a day that I wasn't filming. It's like I went to the scrapyard in the morning, and then I was like, oh, I'm going to go get breakfast. But let me drive through a couple streets. I drove through a couple streets, and I picked that up. So, I don't know. It's something that I think you need to have the right place to have it. They were hot a couple years ago. I think they were called runs. Like these are called runs. Can't even see it, so dark out. Um, but I think they were four dollars a run. So that would mean four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, twenty-four, twenty-eight, thirty-two, thirty-six. This would be worth about thirty-six bucks. Well, you can't see anything. Would have been worth about thirty-six bucks. You can actually still see the uh, the moon. So, I don't know what time it is, but I think it's past six by now. This is actually a vintage toy. It's part of the Marvel superheroes. I think it's from the 80s. Just a piece. I think I had it at, um, had it at a couple markets. I know I had it at Leesport recently, but I also had it, I think, at uh, Columbus. That's from uh, last year. I only cleaned out that one attic. That whole house actually had all the toys in the attic. Oh, buddy, was that rough. Bugs are making their rounds. Oh, it's gone now. I don't know, he went back, right back in. What? There you go. What a mess. Sort of a ghost town. There's a lot of empty spots, and like I said, <laughs> could have actually slept in there 30 minutes longer. Not like it matters. I mean, when you're up, you're up. Um, but it's like we're sitting in a cloud. Can you see this? It's like just cloudy everywhere. 
I have a feeling it's going to be also a short day. I think the flea market season just so winding down that it's just it's no one's out and about. It's supposed to be a pretty nice day, low 70s, a little chilly in the morning, perfect fall weather. I still have a lot of stuff, but not really a lot of people walking around, which to me I think is very unique. Yeah, that's water. It says it's 57 degrees. I feel like that's lying, but it could very well be 57. I also realize I'm really taco stacked out today. Oh well, sometimes you have to be taco stacked out. The, uh, we're at the recycling place. They are really making progress on that center over there. They got the roof up. That is remarkable. But came here to drop off some glass for her. Some cardboard that broke over. The adventure, it seems like there's some toys out here, maybe something in these boxes down here, these Iron Mountain boxes. I think they're Iron Mountain. It's like a record company in the area. Let's see if there's any treasure. The lady also gave me more candy. They're Polish candy. They are made with, I think, liqueur. It's all in Polish in the back, so I can't uh, tell you the ingredients. Not a chance. Not a chance. I can't even read off any of that. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Looks like a train set on the right. It might be all a train set. Ah. You know what? Bingo. Give me that thing. I don't really like these signs, but $3 is one of the... Now isn't that something? $3 is one of the prices I sell stuff for, so it will work. Hop up here. Anything down here of interest? That's a uh, newspaper box. You get your free newspapers or papers. That's what that is. I see a whole bunch of paper over there. Newspaper. Uh... Oh, medicine ball. Who the heck threw away all this? I don't know. This is what they call illegal dumping. And that's actually one of the main reasons. Like, there's wood on the ground. That's the main reason why they're actually putting up that uh, that building, I think, over there. So they fought away where they can say it's, I wouldn't say going green, but they can add that and then get rid of this and then really monitor it so people will have to use the landfill which the landfill is literally just down this road and that's literally all garbage. That whole hill up there is all garbage. Um, I don't remember when it was smaller. I don't even know if it was in the ground. Like, did they start at base level, ground level, sea level? Or did they go down? Like, was this an old quarry? There's so many quarries around here. To me, I think, why don't you just fill in the quarries that are now just big holes that you can't do anything with, with essentially garbage. But I don't know the whole logistics of everything. So, um, yeah, I know it's a major issue with the dumping. It, it's been an issue for the past couple couple of years. But not seeing anything else. Guess we'll be on the way and do a little recycling or trash picking on the way home. Trash picking. Dropping all recyclers to go trash picking. I didn't uh, didn't sell my ladder. We got over here. Oh, another fridge. That fridge maybe later. Uh, looks pretty dirty. Maybe later, later when I come back and I have an empty van, I can take it. I don't like taking fridges because they're very heavy and very bulky and odd to move. Um, but if I have the space later, maybe I'll grab it. What we got out here? Ooh. Oh, what's there? Stop and look. Almost look like um cassettes. Where's my glove? I don't know what's in the box. Oh, 
Oh, a bunch of CDs. Some pens and stuff. That's kind of cool. E-Box Studio. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to remember if I sold CDs today. I don't remember packing them up. Now I'm trying to remember if I brought them. I did sell a lot of DVDs today. I probably sold close to 30 in total. I brought enough though. I bought, I think I brought four boxes and I have, I literally have probably enough DVDs that I can bring four boxes every time I sell at the flea market for the rest of the year. Um, a lot of those storage units, they always seem to have DVDs. If it's not kitchenware and Tupperware, it's DVDs and movies. So I brought four, four boxes, probably close to about a hundred or so today of uh, movies. Sold a bunch, probably the, the most I sold this year, especially not in bulk because I don't know, I guess people don't bulk, bulk buy DVDs like that anymore. I'm just on cue, we got some, uh, probably use this side door, probably a lot easier. I didn't sell this lampshade either. These don't look too bad. Yeah, that lamp, not a lampshade, um, what's it called? I forgot what the heck they're called. Regardless of what it's called, it didn't sell. It's the, uh, uh, what the heck's it called? It's not a hood, it's a, it's for, you put a light bulb on the inside. Usually they're porcelain, they're usually green and white. That one's just solid white. Ooh, that one's got some bad damage to it. All right, made it back to the warehouse. Um, wow, bee's nest is still over here. Don't know how close I can really get to showing you. So yeah, that's been there a while, but I made it home. Well, kind of home. I feel like this is my home. Anyway, that bee's nest is on the opposite side of this wall and um, still there. I, I, I don't know if it's a yellow jacket nest or a honey bee nest, but regardless, I don't want to find out the hard way. Uh, yeah, I guess, um, I guess it's time to unpack. I, uh, I don't know if there's anything in here I wanted. Oh, yeah, I brought... So, one Pyrex bowl, that's a rare bowl. I have a friend who wanted it, so I brought it up to the flea market. Of course, they're not there. Um, so, I got to unpack that, I guess. Um, this was all donation clothes. These are all sheets. One, take those down. Got a lot of things going on the next week. And I know I have family coming in town and they want to look at the dolls. They want to look at the linens. They want to look at a bunch of other stuff. So I'm going to try to move stuff around so they can easily get to it because there's no way they're going to open up those bins and then move the bins. But that's going to conclude it kind of for today. That's where my CDs were. So I guess I didn't bring the CDs. I was going to pack them and then I forgot to pack them. Uh, like I said, I still have more DVDs. That's a box, that's another box, and then I have like three or four more boxes that still need to be put into other boxes. But yeah, it's gonna wrap it up here for today's endeavor. Uh, I I think I might be going out trash picking for the next episode. I have, like I said, I have a lot going on over next week. Um, yeah, so stay tuned, there's gonna be a lot going on, but um, Thanks for tagging along, everyone. It was a good day. Finally, uh, a nice, beautiful fallish day now that we're in fall. And uh, I sold a bunch of stuff, so my pile is gone. I still have a lot of sorting to do, lots of this stuff to do. Still like my sign. 
Anyway, thanks for tagging along, everyone. If everyone enjoyed it, if anyone enjoyed it, hit the like button, subscribe down below for more treasure hunts just like this. And uh, stay tuned for our next episode because we'll uh, we'll do something fun. So uh, catch up with you guys next time for next episode, next video. Until next time, have a great day. Keep living a dream. Peace.